<laughs> Hi guys, the Benny Dome Enthusiast here and today we're doing something a little different. We're at the Guillermo Amor Stadium, home to David Villa's CF Benidorm Football Club. It's the last game of the season and this new club have already won the title and had promotion to the Tercera Federación confirmed. Today they're going to lift the league trophy and we'll be hoping to finish the season with a big win against Cayosa Deportiva. We're going to be having a chat with a couple of people involved in the club, a couple of the players and we're going to be having a look around the stadium while I tell you a bit more about the club. Then we'll be hoping to finish up with some goals from the game. So who are CF Benidorm? Well, essentially, this is a new club created last year when David Villa's company DV7 bought and merged two local clubs together to create what we now know as CF Benidorm. David Villa is Spain's all-time top scorer and a national footballing hero, so it's no surprise that the announcement of his involvement created a lot of excitement. Along with the experience of club president Jordi Bruxiola, who worked with Villa at CF Villa, the project seemed destined for success. Shall we go have a look inside the ground? So this is where home games are played, the Guillermo Amor Stadium. It's located at the back of the old town, close to the tram station. The stadium has a capacity of 9,000. It is huge considering the league that CF Benidorm play in. It's currently the sixth tier of the Spanish league system, going up to the fifth tier next season. Now this season we haven't got close to filling it. Average attendance has been around 2,000, which is still incredible considering the level the club is playing at. But the potential is there to fill this stadium and hopefully in the future seasons we're going to see it happen. Let's go grab a couple of the players for a chat just before they lift the trophy. First up, Jonathan Neftali. He plays at centre-back and is one of the FC Benidorm's most experienced players. He started his career coming up through Alicante youth team and then went on to play at the highest level in Denmark in the Danish Superliga before returning to his roots in Spain and joining CF Benidorm at the start of this season. Neftali, congratulations on a fantastic season. When you first joined the club, did you believe that you could win the league? Yeah, of course. Uh, from the beginning, Agus, he made a fantastic squad to, to get the, the goal. So that's the important thing. And of course, I believe in that they're going to win the, the season. And was it very exciting at the start? Uh, yeah, uh, it was half half because uh, I was a little bit nervous also because so many new players, the David Villas group also came inside and uh, many expectations about us. And uh, but I was sure that uh, we we're gonna we we're gonna do it. So it good. what is your most memorable moment of all season? Okay, the best one. Yeah. I think it was uh, the game against uh, El Dense because it was like a, a, a point where we start to, to believe that uh, we can do it because we, we got the first position in the league and uh, that was the most important moment I think in the, in the season. When you really started to think, yeah. yes, we can because, do uh, this. Now we are here, so we're going to do it. Who do you think has been the best player all season? Mm. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult, especially because I have such a good relationship with with both of them. But I think uh, Mignano and Morgado. I uh -huh. think they were the best. Mignano is, is uh, super class. Yeah. And Morgado, his technique, uh, his score goals. He has uh, uh, a good energy every time. So I think both of them mm -hmm. they are the best. Excellent. And last question. Are you continuing at CF Benidorm next season? Yeah, I have contract, but you never know. I, hope I don't you know. Will. I don't know what they, they're gonna decide, but I think hopefully uh, I'm gonna stay here. I hope so too. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Next, we're gonna chat with Javi Roskin. He's only 22 years old. He came from another Alicante-based club, CD Fada, and plays mainly at right back. 
Roskin, congratulations and a fantastic season. Thank you. How Lucy. proud are you to be a part of CF Benidorm this year? My first, uh, my first state in, in Benidorm uh, is incredible, it's incredible, but my, my teammates are very good and I, the problem, I have the problem, the injury, mm -hmm. but I very good in, in Benidorm with the teammates, with the mister. Uh, no tengo queja. <laughs> I don't know. You've been a great part of, of the team, even with the injury. What was your best game of the season? My best game uh, was uh, versus Carpe here. Uh -huh. My first goal uh, in the in the debut the the, the stadium mm -hmm. uh, with the present with the present uh, Villa and my goal vers versus Carpe. A great moment. And, and remontad uh, th uh, three. 3-2 win and very... A great very, game. A great game. You remember yes. that one forever. Yes. Forever, forever. <laughs> For me it's incredible uh, my, my stance, my stance uh, here. Yeah. Okay. Which player do you think is the most important away from uh, the pitch, in the dressing room? In the dressing room? Um, for me, for me, three. Mm -hmm. uh, Nestalí, Nestalí is incredible. Miñano, Miñano is a good person, very good person, and Amorgado is uh, my, my brother, ah, my, my big brother. Yeah, they look after you. Yes, my, so, uh, bueno, my, my brother, yes, my dad, my, my brother, uh, I, um, I learn with, very, very with them. I learn a lot from yes. them. Okay, um, <laughs> yes. Will you be here at CF Benidorm next season? Um, I, ojalá que sí. Uh, I hope so. Yes. Also, yes. Um, but for me, it's incredible this this year, start here, and the next year, oh, ojalá. ojalá we we'll see what happens. Eh? See what happens. Thank good you. luck. Thank you, Lucy. And, uh, have a good game. Very thank you. A little, a little bit of English. <laughs> you did great. Vale. <laughs> thank you. You. The stadium's filling up, the atmosphere is building and the players will be out any minute to lift the trophy. I think we've just got time to get a drink in at the bar before kick-off. Yes, in case you're wondering, you can get a beer here. It's not a dry stadium and them lads there have got two each. <laughs> I'm here now with Agustin Alves, Sports Director for CF Benidorm. Congratulations. The trophy's here. The trophy's here. Yeah, thank How you does so that much. feel? It was nice. It was a hard uh, tournament. We was playing very hard. And yeah, finally for Benidorm, we promoted to Tercera. So it was a nice, nice time. So the mission this year was to get promoted. Yeah. Mission complete. Yeah, uh, was a, one, this is one of the first goals and then they start to bring many people as soon to, to, the, to the stadium, to the fans, because it was a long time with not uh, uh, football, nice football in Benidorm, so yeah. It's really, brought, it's really brought the city together and uh, not only the people that live here, but tourists as well, the British tourists are loving it. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, very British every week coming here at home and also away. So it was uh, very nice for, for the players, for us, because we started from the bottom and now see the club that uh, growing up, so it was nice. So let's talk a little bit about the future. Um, next season, what, what's the mission? Is it just to survive in Tercero or, or go up again? Uh, the mission always needs to be fight and do the best. Uh, we only think on that, so we hope that the next year we try to be in the 
good position. We don't say in the top, but we're gonna say in a, in a good position to, to try to fight because this is finally the goal. Always we need to be the goal. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, just one last thing. I couldn't do this video without mentioning David Villa, of course. Yeah. How has it been uh, being involved with him? Do you think he's motivated the players even more? Yeah, and he's very in charge with, with the club, not just the first team. He is always asking about the, the, the kids, about the under 19, about the under 23. He is always interested in the club, so this is very important for, for us, for me, and for, for everybody. So, yeah, was he goes to see the academy with the, the, yeah, the with kids. The kids. Yeah, with uh, the kids. When he gets time, always he tries to come to, the, to, to Benidorm. And uh, he is probably now the best fan. <laughs> and when he go everywhere, they ask him for Benidorm, so this is very, very nice for us. Yeah, excellent. Well, thank you for your time today, thank and congratulations so again. Thank you. And uh, vamos! Vamos! <laughs> to finish with a score draw today but there is no denying it has been a fantastically successful season thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure you try and get involved with cf benidorm follow them on their social media and also check out their youtube channel they stream almost every game live and if you want to go to a game in the future drop me an email at the benidorm enthusiast at gmail.com although the main season is over there's a friendly upcoming on tuesday the 28th of may make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel click that beer mug in the corner and also check us out on facebook instagram x and tiktok at the benidorm enthusiast stay positive and stay safe